Knighthood, they say, lies above eternity. It does not live off fame, but rather deeds. To raise more warriors who will stand in defense of the church and the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Anglican Diocese of Newi recently added another 31 soldiers to its battalion in the order of knighthood of St. Christopher. This brings to 197 the number of knights in the diocese. One of the newly invested knights was the senior special assistant to the governor on budget, Samelie Onyejepu. The investiture started with the 197 knights of faith gallantly dressed in their regalia, flanked by their ladies, marching as soldiers of Christ into the church in a procession. During the presentation and examination, the chaplain, Newi Dawson Council of Knights, Right Reverend Canon Charles Nemeka, called for the acceptance of the new knights, while the bishop, Anglican Dawson of Newi, Right Reverend Professor Godwin Opala, sought to know if they will emulate the person of St. Christopher and become the warriors of Christ, his church, and his influence, urging them to serve God in truth without fear or favor. We chose you, prepared you, examined you, and we said we are expecting you to bear you all the right and the duty of the Father of the Jesus Christ. We are promising to live and stand in this capacity, stand our confidence in you, and we hope you will not be that part of us. We will not be confined to the other. We will not be confined to the church. We will not be confined to God. Who calls you to stand in this higher office of the church in time and truth? We come to pray to you for scaling through the strength of the plenty by which you should or exceed we 
The knights with swords of faith and their ladies were led in an oath of allegiance by the counselor of the diocese, Justice E. C. Ubezono, after which the bishop presented the new knights with a scroll and a sword as a symbol of their spirituality. Yeah. 
Addressing the assembly, Governor Willie Obiano, represented by his deputy, Dr. Nkemo Okeke, congratulated the Knights and urged them to see themselves as critical stakeholders in Governor Obiano's drive towards the unprecedented development of the state. I welcome you all to this initiation and the first service for new knights and ladies into the night of the Christopher. First, um, my Lord, you should have I'm going to be better here. Everything has gone very well. But my own, I'm not a knight. And I'm not a fool before I have a dream. Knights are not in trouble. There are so many requirements to be a knight. But what are you doing in the world? The campus house. For the other campus house. The Kuwaita Gold Club. The Lord of the Kuwaita. Knights. The world knight, the Christian knight means the warrior of the Christianity. I want to do a lot of stuff. I want to talk about some. I want to just say you must do the work of the church to the best of your ability. You must support the church. Everything that is in the church, you must continue to do. You must live upright. And my prayer. And God will give you the right, the strength, and the possibility to do right in Jesus' name. Earlier in a sermon, the retired Bishop of Isukwato, Umunochi Diocese, Right Reverend Samuel Chukwoka, said the work of God cannot be done if it is left for the clergy alone, and charged the knights to use their position as the number one laity to direct others to work for Christ.
The President, Joint Council of Knights, Sir Isaiah Ezobika and Sir Ezekiel Okeke, also charged the new knights to uphold the tenets of which knights are known for. Some people think uh, being a knight is just to take the title of Sir and Lee. They forget that the commitment. Today, I carefully listened to the oath they took to help build the church. To fight the enemy of the church. To help the bishop. To lead by example. My advice to the new knight is that they have to keep it very well and do the right thing. The new knight, so far, the old knight is good. Because um, if I say that we are not so fresh, it's not an overstatement. Later at the reception organized by one of the knights in shining armor and the senior special assistant to the governor on budget, Samelie Onyejepu, scores of Ndianambra, including the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Barrister Rita Madagu, encouraged Samelie to live a life worthy of his calling. <laughs> Responding, Samelie thanked all those who came to rejoice with him and his family and promised to be a worthy soldier of Christ. Speeches, 
cutting of cake and dances at the reception formed part of the event graced by government functionaries, House of Assembly members, captains of industry, the religious, among others. Well, I came to felicitate with um, our own Melier, Gwefi. Um, he took up a sword for Christ. And it's not just the fun of letting a sword for Christ. You have to do it both morally, socially, and everything about your life will have to be for Christ. That is the message of a knight. That is what knights are for. They should stand up for the church, for the people, for the community, wherever they are. They should show a good example of what Christianity should be. The reasons of it, they just service, service to humanity. I believe to be a knight means uh, service to God. And uh, in life, we be first and the last to serve God. Because we are the image of God. And the only thing God wants is to serve God. And if that's what you are talking today, I think it's a good assignment that is all taken. Uninterruptible you and the superlative S.